Ladies and gentlemen, this is Carmine Sabia for Explain America, and Hillary Clinton just gave an interview where she dropped a bomb on the 2024 presidential election. Folks, please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. It really helps this channel out. Now, let's get on to the story. Hillary Clinton was giving an interview with Sky News when she was asked about Trump, DeSantis, and Joe Biden, including Joe Biden's age for the 2024 presidential campaign. And she gave pretty standard answers, although she really went hard after Trump. But there was a question about Biden's age that popped in. And, well, I want to see if you guys can catch exactly what she did. Let's take a look at the video. Next year, America goes to the polls. Donald Trump is running for president while under criminal mm -hmm. indictment. Mm -hmm. This the man who, back in 2016, mm -hmm. consistently accused you of law-breaking mm -hmm. and actively encouraged chance of lock her mm -hmm. up, directed at you. It's pretty ironic, isn't it, that he is now a former president that could face mm -hmm. a jail term. How does it make you feel? Well, I always thought about him, and if you follow him, uh, I think you can see it as well. He accuses people of doing things he himself is doing. It's a, a form of psychological projection. Uh, and. I always thought that uh, his record in business in particular, but then as we saw him uh, in politics and government, uh, he was someone who cared nothing about rules, he cared nothing about the law. Uh, so he has been indicted, and there may be others as well, but he has said he's going to keep running, and mm. there's nothing in our current system of laws that would prevent him from running. But even if he gets the Republican nomination, he cannot, in my view, be re-elected uh, president. Why can't he be re-elected if I he think gets people, the nomination? I, I think people are, uh, more people are on to him and his uh, behavior than they were before. He has a hard core of support that is likely to help him win the Republican nomination. But in a general election against President Biden, I do not believe he can win. So you don't think he can win, do you think he's a bigger threat to Biden than DeSantis? It's hard to tell. I mean, DeSantis is unproven. Nobody really outside of Florida knows very much about him. And in Florida, they're watching him do crazy things. So mm -hmm. I, 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 I actually believe that President Biden will be reelected, regardless of who the Republican nominee is. Do, do you ever worry that President Biden, he will be in his 80s in a second term, is too old for the job? I, I feel like I could do the job. I'm in, you know, you my mid-70s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, you, you might know, could run in 2028. Well, I doubt that. But I think uh, it really should be a matter of what he has done as president and pulling together um, the transatlantic alliance to support Ukraine, pulling together countries in Asia to begin to stand up to uh, Chinese uh, aggressiveness, uh, passing major legislation through the Congress. I think he has a remarkable record. And we're living, though, Beth, in a time when a lot of people expect their leaders to be performers, yes. not producers. Yes. And so is he a performer, as we think of maybe one of your prior prime ministers or one of our prior presidents? No, that's not who he is. Mm. And thank God for that, because look at what he's getting done. You notice how quickly she puts herself in the conversation? Quote, I feel like I could still do the job, end quote. That's telling, because Joe Biden has not announced for president yet. And if he doesn't, it's going to be a wide-open Democrat field. Now, he's hinted that he will be running, but he has not made an official announcement. And until he does, it's anybody's guess. There's a lot of speculation behind the scenes that people want him to step aside for somebody else. Could Hillary Clinton be that somebody else? Time will tell, but I think, you know, that statement, Hillary doesn't say anything without purpose. And I think that statement actually says a lot more than meets the eye. Folks, again, I want to thank you for joining us here at Explain America. Again, I'm Carmine Sabia. Please remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We love you guys. God bless you. Take care, everybody.